Hola amigos, Hola. en esta parte de su paseo virtual vamos a hablar de las plantas y todas las cosas que necesitan las plantas para crecer. Hi friends, in this part of your virtual field trip, we are going to talk about plants and everything they need to grow. As you can see here, my friend Teddy loves plants. Some of his favorite foods are papaya, turnip greens, and squash, and all of those things come from plants. My favorite fruit is banana, and bananas come from trees, and trees are plants. So we're going to take a very special trip down to our local hardware store where we are going to purchase some plants and I am going to show you everything that they need so they grow big and strong and later can be used as food. We'll leave Teddy alone to enjoy his papaya. He definitely loves the stuff. So let's get started. Estoy aquí en la tienda amigos y pienso que voy a comprar un poquito de acelga. La acelga es un relativo de la lechuga. So I'm here at the store, friends, and I think I'm going to buy a little bit of chard today. Chard is a leafy green that is a relative to lettuce. And I'm sure you guys have had lettuce before, maybe on a salad or a burger. And it's just a reminder of how important plants are as a food resource. Look at all this beautiful green color. And plants are green because they have a very special pigment called chlorophyll that helps them absorb light. And that's going to be important later on. So I'm back home and I'm ready to plant my chard and the first thing that plants need in order to grow healthy and strong is good soil, buena tierra. Just like you guys get all of the nutrients and vitamins you need from the foods you eat, plants get all of those nutrients from the soil that they live in. And plants absorb all of those nutrients through their roots. So check out the roots of this chard plant. There's a ton of them. These roots will help this plant absorb not only water, but nutrients from the soil. The next thing that plants need in order to survive is light, la luz. Without light, a very special process called photosynthesis would not be able to happen. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants produce or make their own food. Unlike you and I who consume or eat other living things in order to survive, plants do not and instead make their own sugar or food through the process called photosynthesis. But without light, that would just not be possible. In fact, the word photosynthesis comes from the two words photo and synthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means to make. So you are making something from light and that's exactly what plants do. The last thing my plant will need to grow successfully is water, agua. Water is important to plants for several reasons. Water contains nutrients that help plants grow. Water carries nutrients from the soil to the outermost part of a plant like the leaves and water is also required for photosynthesis. So the three basic needs of a plant are soil, water and light. So let's give this chart plant its first watering and hopefully come summer I have a big beautiful plant that I can use to feed my animals. Now before I let you guys go today I want to show you guys some of the animals that we have here at the EEC that use plants as a food source. So let's go. These box turtles are omnivores which means that they eat both plants and animals but some of the plants that they do enjoy are papaya, yellow squash, and collard greens. And those pellets that you see are made of different types of grasses. These are the wonderful cows we have here at the EEC. You guys might have gotten the opportunity to feed them before and as you guys know they are herbivores which means that they only eat plants. So they enjoy all kinds of different grasses and are definitely some of my favorite animals here at the center. If we walk a little bit further down the EEC, we'll find our pigs and our goats. Goats are of course herbivores and pigs are omnivores. But that means that they eat plenty of plants. As you can see, they are munching on some grass right now. If you guys were here in person and were to have lunch with us, all of the leftover plant material that you guys don't eat, like your carrots, broccoli, or cauliflower, all of those things would go to our 
pigs, and goats because we don't like to waste anything around here at our beautiful center. But don't worry, while you guys are away, we are feeding them some of the plants that we've grown ourselves. All right, guys, the last animals I wanted to show you today are the birds we have here at the EEC. And while these birds are omnivores, that means that they eat both plants and animals, most of their diet is plant-based. We only occasionally give them mealworms as treats. But before I let you guys go today, I wanted to mention something very important about plants and photosynthesis. When photosynthesis is occurring, remember the process that helps plants produce their own food, a very special gas is released into our atmosphere, and that gas is oxygen. Oxygen is part of the air that we breathe. So not only do we use plants as a food source, plants also provide us with the oxygen that we need to survive. So without plants, no humans, no you. So thank you, plants.